Good morning, Homestead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your May 17th, 2021 Monday Motivator. As you may remember, we are going through the attributes and behaviors of love the verb so that we can better understand them so that we are then able to live out our core purpose to teach others about love the verb. This week, we're dealing with respectfulness. And when I think of respectfulness, I think of my friend Bill. But before that, let's talk about how respectfulness is defined. The executive leadership team defines respectfulness as treat others with courtesy and be mindful of your manners. Say please and thank you. Take your shoes off before entering someone's home. Ask before you borrow something that's not yours. Practice the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Now, back to my friend Bill. As many of you know, I was raised in Alabama. And in Alabama, you say sir and ma'am as often as you possibly can. As a matter of fact, school kids, if they don't say yes sir or yes ma'am, get punished. It's, it's a disciplinary action. And so, therefore, when I moved to Missouri and my kids, well, they were really young, like they were like two and five, I taught them to immediately say yes sir and yes ma'am, being polite. And one of the things that happens in the South is, well, with a senior adult that you're very close to, you say Mr. So-and-so and their first name typically. It, it's a sign of respect, but also we're close with one another. So Bill would be referred to by my kids as Mr. Bill. And we started having coffee with Bill every week. And uh, my kids would just get very excited about going to see Mr. Bill. And after we did this a few weeks, Bill said, Robert, I want you to stop Adam and Noah from calling me Mr. Bill. And I said, but Bill, I was raised in Alabama and in Alabama it's respectful to say Mr. before your name and I want my kids to be respectful. And Bill just smiled and he said, yeah, but Robert, you live in Missouri now. And in Missouri, it's respectful to call somebody what they want to be called. I want to be called Bill. And at that point, my kids stopped calling Bill, Mr. Bill. He was just Bill. It was the, one of the most valuable lessons I've ever gotten on respectfulness. Respectful is to treat someone else the way you want to be treated. The golden rule. It means doing what they ask you to do, thinking that they will then do what you ask them to do also. You are so good at being respectful to our clients. Be extra respectful so that they just look at you and they think this is a person who respects me and therefore they respect you also. I respect you. I respect what you do because what you do is so difficult and you do it so well. If you ever need someone to just tell you why you're respectful, why it is that what you do matters and, and why you, you deserve respect and how I respect you as a result of that, you can call me anytime, okay? My contact information is at the end of this video. But if you remember nothing else, remember simply this. Our CEO cares for you, and so do I. Have a great week, okay?